I'm not aware in detail what the European Commission is doing and what the European Union is doing exactly on reduction of car emissions. Um, well, as far as I know, there's you know quite a lot of legislation going on and quite a lot of talks going on at the Commission right now. There's um, the EU 2020 strategy, which aims to use uh, renewable sources of energy instead of um, traditional ones. Um, but I know the EU is constantly drafting legislation to try and reduce as much as possible greenhouse emissions and uh, emissions from cars and. I suppose they are working on different uh, technologies, uh, um, maybe electric cars, but also uh, um, biofuels and uh, yeah, innovative uh, technologies to reduce uh, carbon uh, and car emissions. I think there's also some possibility to have like biofuels. Uh... Biofuels? Um... Biofuels, it's an alternative. But this is an alternative that we have uh, waste, we have uh, um, bio solutions that can produce uh, energy. Biofuels are made from biological processes as opposed to like fossil fuels that come about by geographical processes. And so biofuels are very good in, in, in the way they're produced because I think they come from sources other than just from sources other than petroleum so they may be from agricultural sources, which is very if good. If we can grow, uh, if we can have our own biofuel in Europe, uh, produced in Europe, uh, I think that could be a positive uh, thing as it, it would uh, lessen our dependency. And yeah, we should focus more on using what we already have, like biomass, to produce energy from, clean energy from biomass. Thing, I mean, I still think it's far better using that than, than using uh, petroleum, obviously. I think uh, the reduction of car emissions should be uh, part of a holistic approach. Uh, I think we can use renewable uh, energy, uh, solar energy or biofuels like ethanol or biodiesel. Um, these would all help reduce emissions in the long term. Encouraging the research to try to find uh, the, uh, the fuel which is the less um, hurting for the environment. If we make advances in technology, uh, who knows, I think biofuels can, can become fairly cheap uh, over time also. Yeah, sure. If it's better like for the world, of course. Be responsible for the planet, let's say. Biofuels, for example, can be part of the solution, maybe not the unique solution. Don't think that one solution fits all. It needs to be seen as part of a global system. I hope that there is some legislation in the, in the pipeline that will reduce the car emissions, but I'm not sure. I think in principle biofuels are a good idea. There is some controversy, but in general I think yes, policy makers certainly should support it. I think policy makers should support biofuels. Policy makers should definitely support the use of biofuels. Yeah, definitely, because they are the ones that are more responsible for it, and I mean, in a sense that they have uh, they have power, and then that's why the politicians are made for, I guess. So I don't think it's as easy as we, we want to make it sound, but I think it has to be a strategic effort. You know, I think if, if they put enough effort, like long term, so it's something that's going to change overnight, but. Yeah, I'm, I'm all in favour of that, you know. I think yes, it should be defended as part of the equation to solve the problem of emissions and climate change. I think you have to change on different levels, little things, big things, to get to a world with lesser emissions. As a, as a citizen, all I want really is to breathe air which is clean, and, uh, not to get all the pollution around me, I guess.